Okay, so we are going to continue our coverage over Spawn for Spawn Sundays, and we pick up with Spawn number 50. Now, when it comes to Spawn number 50, it does pick up where our last video left off at, with Terry getting into a car accident. Now remember, Terry is the old best friend of Spawn, but the current husband to Wanda, Spawn's ex-wife. Anyways though, when it came to Terry, he got into a car accident and it was really bad and Wanda got a call saying your husband is in the hospital and so she ran over to see if everything is okay. Now once she does arrive it seems like he is okay just some minor injuries except when it comes to the doctor he wants to run a few tests. Now this is going to be a problem and the reason why because Terry has not told Wanda that he has a tumor on his brain. And so with these tests, the doctor here is gonna find out about the tumor and of course is going to tell both Terry and also Wanda, even though Terry already knows. And Terry is trying his best to not have the doctor run these tests because he does not want Wanda to know just yet. And so unfortunately, the doctor's all like, nah bro, I gotta run these tests to make sure you have no other kinds of injuries. We then jump over to Spawn and Cogli Astro. Now, when it comes to Spawn and Cogli Astro, let's not forget, in our last video, Cogli Astro told Spawn that he used to be a Spawn as well. Now, he did not say a Hell Spawn, all he said was a Spawn, and we're left to wonder what he meant by that. With that being said though, we do see Spawn right now trying to figure out what in the world is going on with him, but also Kali Astro. Now, when it comes to Kali Astro, he does not tell Spawn any more information about his past or being a Spawn in the past. Instead, what he does, he does tell Spawn one thing, that when he came to Spawn's suit, the reason why it's going crazy and Spawn is having a hard time controlling it is because when they were separated, thanks to Curse, the suit was evolving. Now, with the suit evolving, it needed Al Simmons with it to basically lead it in the right direction to learn from right and wrong. The problem was Spawn was not there because Curse was trying to dissect Spawn. He took the suit away from Spawn. And so that led the suit becoming more violent because it did not have Al Simmons inside of it to basically teach it the right things. But on top of that, once Spawn and the suit did combine together once again, all of Spawn's anger and hatred towards different things just kept feeding the suit bad information feeding it and basically saying, okay, I should be mad and angry all the time. And that was the problem right there, why the suit went crazy so much. And so it's Kali Astro saying, if you want to regain control of your suit, you need to teach your suit the right thing. But for you to do that, you have to let go of all your anger, all your hatred, because after you do that right there, then your suit will be able to actually listen to you and work with you. Now, after saying that, Kali Astro just disappears just like that. But we get back over to Wanda and Terry. Now, when it comes to Wanda and Terry, they're in the hospital. They're just waiting for the test thinking that everything is going to be A-OK, -okay, except that is the moment you have the doctor come in and technically says, hey Terry, you have cancer. You have a tumor on your brain. Now, Terry already knew that. He learned that in the last video, but Wanda did not know that. And this is so hard for Wanda. And the reason why, because let's not forget, Terry is her second husband. Al Simmons, Spawn, was her first. He was shot down and killed, and now here comes her second husband dying from cancer. It's so hard for her to hear the idea that her husband now has cancer. But on top of that, when it comes to the tumor, unfortunately, the doctors cannot do anything at all unless they're trying to cut into the brain actually or cut off part of the brain. But the thing is, the way this cancer had worked, it was always in Terry's body, but it was slowly growing, slowly growing to the point where it's now a tumor. But even if they do cut off the tumor, it is going to regrow again. And so technically, Terry is a dead man. Except this is where we begin the process of seeing Spawn being able to save Terry. But then 
getting sent back to hell for doing it. Let me explain. Because you now have Spawn going over to Wanda's grandmother. And the reason why, because Spawn and the grandmother always had a close bond. Before he died, before they got married, he always had a close bond to the grandmother of Wanda. It was so sweet and everything. Except when he does go over to her, he's kind of like, hey, you know, I'm here making sure you're okay. Now she's blind. So she has no idea how Spawn looks like. But on top of that, she believed that Spawn is an angel, not a hell Spawn, because things he told her. Either way, this is where she tells Spawn, yeah, you know, I'm doing great, but Wanda, nah. She's doing bad, Al. She's doing bad because she just found out Terry has cancer. Now that hits Spawn hard, very hard. Now, Spawn is still angry at Terry for a whole lot of different reasons, but he's now sad for Wanda because he still loves her. He still wants to protect her. He still wants to make sure that she is happy. And now he hears that her second husband is going to die from cancer. And so you have Spawn go over to the hospital to confirm that Terry does have cancer. And when he does see Terry, he's all like, man, he does have cancer. Man, he is dying. But like, can I save him? And technically, Spawn can use his hell power to actually save Terry's life. But the thing is, if he does that, that means he has used all the energy that Malbolgia gave him. And the problem is, if he does use all the energy he has, he gets sent right back to hell to begin the process of leading the army of hell against the forces of heaven. And he's not trying to do that right now. But he realized that Terry is dying and maybe he should do it, except for Spawn, he's still angry at Terry because Terry married his wife. He married Wanda, who was the ex-wife of Al Simmons. But on top of that, Terry is working for Jason Wynn. And Jason is one of the many guys responsible for the death of Spawn. And so Spawn's saying, why should I help him? And he leaves. But the thing is, right after he leaves, Terry gets a whole lot worse. I mean a whole lot worse. Because right after he leaves, Wanda is freaking out. She overhears that Terry has lost the ability to breathe on his own. And so without that ability, he's now on a breathing machine. He is trying to survive. And Wanda cannot do the idea of watching her second husband dying right in front of her. But again, Spawn is right outside. He sees Wanda crying. He sees Wanda scared of the idea of losing her second husband, but now her daughter gonna lose her father and so it spawns saying i made a promise to always keep wanda happy to always make sure that she is okay and so spawn is going to use his powers to basically save the life of terry not because he feels bad for terry because he wants to make sure that wanda is okay and their daughter as well and this is a very big moment because you do have Spawn going right back into the hospital room. And when he does, he goes right next to Terry. He used all the power he has left that was given to him by Malbolgia to bring Terry back to life, but to also make sure the cancer is gone. And so when he does that, yeah, all the energy he had is completely gone. He has no choice but to go back to hell. But at least when he does do it, he did it for Wanda. He made sure that Wanda is happy. And then Terry wakes up. The cancer is gone, completely gone. There is no way the cancer can regrow again to hurt uh, Terry down the road. The doctors cannot believe it. Wanda could not believe it to the point where homegirl fainted as soon as she saw Terry get right back up. She's like, what just happened? And so it's a great thing. But unfortunately, Spawn had to go back to hell because again, he used all the energy that Malbolgia gave him and now he's back in hell. And so then we jump into the idea of learning more about heaven and hell, trying to figure out how does a soul go to one of the two? How is it decided? And so we kind of find out when it comes to heaven or hell, it's basically a chess game. And what I mean by that, 
You have heaven or hell try to decide when a soul is best for them or best for their opponent. And so sometimes they'll try to grab a soul to help build up their forces to fight against an enemy. But sometimes they might let a soul go to the other side as a way to hurt their forces. So for example, if heaven sees a soul that will be better for hell, they'll let that soul go over to hell. Hopefully one, that'll be a weak soul that could bring down the forces of hell so that they'll be able to win their big war down the road and vice versa when it comes to hell trying to bring down heaven. But sometimes you'll have heaven just go ahead and grab a soul because they feel like that soul will be better in heaven, not in hell. And again, vice versa for hell as well. With that being said, when it comes to hell, when it came to Al Simmons, well, he was the perfect fit for hell. And the reason why, because usually when hell decides a soul would be better in hell is for two reasons revenge and love and when it came to al simmons he wanted revenge and that was the perfect kind of soul to be grabbed by hell to be used in the forces of hell to fight against the forces of heaven now this is where we jump over to violator who's still on earth and the thing is when it came to violator he hated spawn so much and the reason why because he hates the idea of human souls going to hell becoming hell spawns then sent back to earth to be trained to hopefully one day lead the forces of hell because the violator the only people who should be leading the army of hell should be the ones who actually come from hell the demons there like violator and so when he hears that spawn had went back to hell he's all like yes i won it's great but then he realized wait a second because Spawn just proved that maybe he is the best fit to lead the army of hell against the forces of heaven. And that ticks off Violator a whole lot more now. He said, I technically did not get what I wanted to do. I wanted to prove to Malbolgia that demons are better than humans. And here I am right now, technically showing that humans are better than demons. But then we jump back over to Terry and Terry and Wanda are so excited because now they can go home. Terry no longer has cancer. Everything is going to be a-okay. Well, you would think that, right? And so either way, Terry is happy. So is Wanda. So is their daughter. And you even have the doctor say they have no idea how in the world this man was able to beat cancer. But on top of that, the cancer had disappeared completely. But either way, homeboy can go ahead and go home and so they do now when they get home they do have a celebration it's great except when terry and wanda go to bed terry has a dream and the dream is the same thing over and over again it's some kind of dream about al simmons his best friend spawn and this could mean that terry is going to begin the process of learning that spawn is Al Simmons, his friend that died five years ago, who came back and was trying his best to protect Terry, but to also protect Wanda. Well, you then have Terry go over to the grandmother of Wanda, and this is where you have Terry wonder even more about Al Simmons possibly being alive again, or was, because right now, he's back in hell. Either way, you have the grandmother of Wanda tell Terry, well, yeah, you should be okay because I sent you an angel. And you had Terry wondering, what in the world do you mean by that? How in the world did you send me an angel? And she says, Al Simmons, he was alive again. I just never told you guys. He never told you guys, but he was alive again. And matter of fact, when I told him you had cancer, I said, man, please do your thing, be an angel and go over there and help your friend Terry out. And Al did. Al did help out Terry. And so Terry's kind of like, wait, was Al alive? Is Al Spawn? What in the world is going on here? But then we see Spawn arrive in hell. Now, when he does, he does arrive on the second level of hell, the second circle. Because let's not forget, there are multiple levels when it comes to hell. And when it comes to Malbolgia, the one that made Al Simmons into Spawn, well, he's on the eighth circle, the eighth level. Either way, there are so many different kind of rules when it comes to hell. 
But one thing we do know for sure, necroplasm is very important in hell. Because when it comes to Malbolgia, he does use necroplasm as a way to make the humans who have came to hell into hell spawns and then send them back to earth. Here's the thing, when it comes to other levels, necroplasm used in different ways. On the second level, it's kind of like an energy source that the demons here want to eat and feed on. And when they come to spawn, spawn does contain some necroplasm. But at the same time, he's on their turf. He should not be on the second level. He should be on the eighth level. And so it does lead into spawn fighting against a bunch of creatures from the second level. Now as the fight goes on, spawn is able to defend himself. But at first, homeboy was getting his butt whooped. But after being able to get back on his feet, it seems like he was able to unlock new powers. And he was able to take down all the different demons that were coming at him left and right. And once he does it, he's all like, yes, listen here, I am not going to be a pushover. I'm going to make sure that if anybody attacks me, I'll be able to stop them. And when he came to the big demon in this fight right here, he killed off that demon and made that demon eat its own heart. It spawns saying, yeah, I may be in hell, but I'm not no pushover. And the last page of spawn number 50 is really important. And the reason why, because we pick up with two things happening on the last page. The first is that you have Malbogia celebrating the idea that Spawn is back in hell. It's a great thing. Oh my gosh. He also got brand new powers, which means that a whole lot more mess is about to come to Spawn very soon with now him being in hell. But then on the same page, we come to find out the daughter of Wanda and Terry went to a birthday party. Now, when it came to the birthday party, there was a clown. And that clown is a very sick clown. And that clown would be Violator. And so we do see Violator still trying to come after the loved ones of Spawn as a way to get to Spawn. But the question is, if Spawn is in hell, what's the point of going after the different people who are close to Spawn? Because what will you gain from that? And so with that being said, this is where we are going to end today's comic book video. So please leave me a like down below and subscribe. But guys, I'll see y'all next time. Later.